Hi everyone. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick rundown on the D'Agostini uh, scale model. Um, this was a two year build. Uh, I've got some sections uh, cut away at the moment. Um, but um, yeah, it, it, was, it was an amazing model to build. It was probably the biggest project that I've ever done. Um, a lot of research online. It's a D'Agostini model from the UK, um, so uh, it came in a hundred different issues. I got all of the issues at once, uh, assembled all of it, and, uh, and then painted the lower hull, the upper hull, the mandibles, and uh, also the cockpit area. Uh, all of the paint was from the UK and faithfully reproduced based on the original ILM paints uh, that were used in the movie. So uh, the whole model is complete now. Um, it has landing lights. It has uh, landing lights around the actual model itself. Uh, hull, red lights, uh, so you don't hit your head. Um, it has also Lights in the cockpit uh, with uh, the actual figures themselves, and uh, also I painted the lights uh, behind there to uh, give it a bit more realism and tried to keep the colours as original as I could uh, with the filming version. Um, the overall effect of the model I think is really, really good. Uh, it's got battle damage, uh, there's streaks uh, coming down off the hull, uh, there's rust. Um, the model itself has an interior, it's a full interior. Um, it has a gun turret with um, fiber optics. Uh, unfortunately, at the moment, the fiber optics on the bottom guns aren't working. A lot of people actually think there are only um, four guns, but there's actually um, uh, eight um, uh, proper. Um, there is a, a section in here as well that I've done that's a bit hard to see, but all of that has been reproduced as well, as closely as I could. Um, the whole model itself was just uh, incredible to research. Um, a lot of work. Um, tried to make it as authentic as I could, but um, some others out there have actually even done a better job than this. Um, uh, that includes, for example, little chevrons all around the model um, in the correct spots as far as I could. Uh, Steve uh, uh, from the UK, uh, sorry, from the, from the US, uh, he um, actually did a light model of this, uh, and then I think it was basically um, uh, a deal with uh, D'Agostini to build it based on a, a light model um, uh, where they put a light, spectrum light, over the original filming model uh, to actually reproduce it as closely as possible. So it almost, it picked up dust on the, the actual um, light model that they used. Uh, and that's how detailed it was. Some of the parts weren't included um, and they came back and um, because some parts actually dropped off the, um, the filming model uh, and they had to be um, uh, put back on. So when that was realised, there, there's probably about 10 different parts on the model that had to be uh, put back on the model um, that were that were supposed to be there that had fallen off. So, yeah, I just sort of do a quick overview of the actual model itself um, because it was just an epic build. Um, in terms of paint layers, there's, there's probably about six or seven different paint layers, different paint techniques to get streaks, um, to get shadows, um, 
again, some other modelers out there are far better um, than me when it comes to for actually building um, the model. But, um, but yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, also wanted to show you where Lorne Peterson's name is. wrote Sculpturing a Galaxy, he was one of the original model makers, so big shout out to Lorne. Um, and also, you know, there's other references you can get from Japan, uh, which is the Bandai version of the model. Uh, that's a bit smaller. Um, lots of people have built that. It's a lot cheaper, but um, I, I think this is, this is epic. Um, it's absolutely amazing this model, um, really happy with the outcome, um, it was a lot of work, uh, a lot of frustration, a lot of fun, um, but yeah, it was, um, it was really, really good fun, um, and enjoyed it a lot, and, um, yeah. I'll uh, probably leave it at that for the moment. Um, I might do another video of it later in more detail that sort of describes the process. But um, oh, the other thing that I was going to say was that these parts are on magnets, so I can actually pull these parts out. Um, I can show that to you. So, this is just one of the battery packs that I've got in there, um, along with the battery pack at the front, uh, plus the power cable through here. So, I've, I've got three different power sources on here. The, um, the power board on this model was problematic. Um, I don't think it was built very well. As soon as I connected the power, it shorted the, uh, the board out. Um, so I eventually just had to uh, just go with a, um, a normal battery pack um, and then when it comes to the battery pack, where do you store it? Um, it looks awkward but it is actually stuck in there but I can easily get it out um, or shrink wrapped. Um, all of the wiring in there uh, looks like a mess. It is very, very involved. Um, and uh, yeah, you can actually see the Falcon, uh, Falcon uh, board in there as well, uh, which I think is, um, was really cool. So I can remote control um, a lot of the functions. Um, yeah, I had to build a lot of these things in with magnets um, just to make sure there were proper tie down points uh, for the model. Um, but um, and then a lot of, as I said, the little 3D printed parts on here to, to make it look more realistic. Along with um, other parts that I put in that are not, you know, from the actual model itself. So, um, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy it, uh, watching that. Um, so, if you decide to do it, um, absolutely do it. Uh, if you've got the time, uh, and the money to, to, to buy it, um, buy it and build it, and it'll be one of the uh, you know the most amazing things that you'll you'll uh, probably do. Huge learning experience. Um, the more time and effort you put into it, the better. Um, the more layers of paint that you put into it uh, or put onto it, the better. Um, so, and the more research that you put into the actual model itself, I think the better. Um, so you have a much better understanding of what was involved um, and the quirky aspects, I guess, of the filming model were things that people probably don't realise, but the, this section, sorry, here, doesn't properly line up with the gun turret. So, um, yeah, there were some interesting things with this, I guess, with the film. Um, 
that didn't actually uh, correspond with a model. So, um, but overall, um, yeah, great, great fun to build. And